The Trapper appears to be moving in slow motion when carrying a downed survivor. The Ray's chain-linked cosmetic has a glitch chain that clips in first person the moment Wraith spawns into the match. By uncloaking and cloaking back into the power, the chain returns to normal. The Wraith's wax torso is missing the light effect coming from the eyes in the endgame screen. Various of prestige weapons are missing the blood veins in both the icons and in the lobby menus. However, the veins do appear correctly in-game. The sky effect in Freddy Krueger's dream world leaves weird graphical artifacts behind when moving the camera. By changing the Huntress cosmetics to a different ultra rare or legendary in the moment a hatchet is out, the hatchet stays glitched on the hand of the Huntress and sometimes it does a weird jumping animation. By placing a hack strap with collision add-ons in specific location all over the maps and by having a survivor stand on top of the activated trap the moment the trap disappears, the survivors will immediately shoot up to the sky at insanely fast speeds to the point that it's possible to completely glitch the survivor out of the game and have them in a state of limbo where the game counts them as sacrificed. This is one of the oldest bugs in the game but honestly, I don't want it to be fixed since it's so specific to get that it's impossible in a normal match. For some very odd reason, the blood splatters that cover the screen after hooking a survivor only appear on the clown. This special effect is missing on the rest of characters in the game. Leatherface Ultra Rare add-on Carburetor Tuning Guide is either extremely poorly designed to the point it's unusable or it's broken as it makes the chainsaw sweep speed extremely slow to the point survivors can just escape you or reach a window if you use this. This effect is worse when combined with a depth gauge rake. You can place a Freddy blood pool on this table in Midwich Elementary. Since this last patch, the pig's animations have been very broken, with her right hand flexing in unnatural ways once turning in certain directions, and also for some reason hitting a survivor forces the camera down like the nurse's fatigue. And if things couldn't get better, her crouch add-ons have a glitch that makes the animation slower than usual. Mori's idle animations in the map are looped incorrectly. The clown's flower in his prestige outfit is missing the blood on the icon, despite having blood applied in-game. For some odd reason, the Twixter and the Deathslinger's prestige weapons have weird electric effects applied to the veins of their weapons that appear depending on the direction of the camera. This has been present since the Twixter's release. The Oni's prestige weapon appears with neon pink veins instead of the usual. This is something that also happened with the Twins and Deathslinger at some point, but it seems to be still unfixed for the Oni. In game, however, it looks normal. The Doctor features extra glowy eyes on his prestige head, 
which is missing from any other default cosmetic we color in the store. Why this is exclusive to the Doctor's Prestige is unknown. Ending a match with the dredge will sometimes completely break the model of the character, causing a complete mess in the end screen. This bug was present in the PTV and it's potentially very dangerous. The clown's afterpiece antidote is still missing from the character's description in the powers. According to DVD's in-game statistics, this hunk of a man is the same height as Wesker, as it stated that the knight's height is average. The same can be applied to the artist, who also appears to have average stature despite being a very tall lady. The Oni's prestige cosmetic torso is missing blood from the face, which makes it look really bad when combined with cosmetic masks that are open. There is a rendering issue with the prestige veins in weapons from the Oni upwards, as they seem to disappear last when changing into a different character. You can spam and overload the loud noise of Sadako coming out of the well if you keep changing between her ultra rare cosmetic and her default on the lobby menu. Wesker's glasses appear to be missing blood effects despite them being present in the icon of this cosmetic, or it's possible that the transparency effect of the icon is not working properly. The school merchant's prestige weapon has a glitched clipping effect in first person if you look downwards or upwards, as the veins clip inside the camera. The Oni's Fire Moon Warrior outfit has clipping issues when looking up during Blood Fury. Shadowborn makes some first-person animations look very bad or stretched depending on how you look at them. Spamming the different weapons with the school merchant while she is attacking in the lobby will cause her to move unnaturally. After this update, Victor can see scratch marks left behind by survivors before becoming Victor. The Legion's right hand has momentum and thus can be broken while in fatigue. In fact, the Legion has enough bugs that Tataryu has made an entire video dedicated to it and I recommend checking it out. For some reason, the Ghostface Scarecrow mask is slightly below the position of the rest of masks. The holes that appear in the Ghostface robe when equipping the Devil mask stay after unequipping it leaving the robe broken with other masks. All of the killer shadows while playing in first person are completely broken as behavior for some reason is rendering the first person model instead of rendering the third person one, which causes all shadows to reveal the special animation tricks that the devs have done in order to create the first person animations. This is by far the oldest bug in this game and a remnant of the fact that Dead by Daylight, no matter how much time and how many devs are still working at the game, at its core, it's still an indie game made on a low budget. There is a way to see the animations yourselves and that's when you are finishing a Memento Mori. For a split frame, you will be able to see the killer's animations broken. The shack in the Garden of Joy is missing a texture. From one side, it looks like there is a wooden board covering the hole, but from the other side, there is no coverage. 
Renato's hats on the release of the very bare skin are the exact same. And also, the collection name of this Renato cosmetic is Glitched. You can glitch the Oni's Blood Fury by changing into various outfits in the cosmetic store. This way, you can see the differences that happen to the Oni during Blood Fury. Boba and Oni's animations are reset when changing into specific cosmetics, possibly because they feature slight alterations to the base model. The raid's power description still mentions the light burn effect, despite it being gone from the game. Freddy Krueger's glove fidget animation and sound are completely mismatched while carrying a survivor. When playing the spirit, survivor flashlights are broken for some reason and might stay on randomly in the match. You still load into a match seeing the spirit's posterior on the entire screen. This bug has been in the game for so long that it's honestly looking like behavior is keeping this one on purpose. This UE shirt has the incorrect texture. You can see the undetectable fog effect when you position your camera in a specific place as you are about to get sacrificed. A lot of outfits have clipping issues by default. These are some examples. The school merchant's store cosmetic is missing all audio effects. Also, the school merchant with the Rift cosmetic will still close her hand on an attack, which makes her stab herself with her pointy nails. The Dredge Maurice cosmetic is missing the horse sounds. This has been a problem in the game for over two patches. You can see inside the game's map when you escape from the pig drop side, which makes it look very bad as it's missing an outside wall. The plague is missing a blinking animation on her left eye on certain cosmetics where her face is reconstructed. In fact, Trapper, Freddy, Pig, Oni and Legion never blink, despite us being able to see their eyes with certain cosmetics. Sometimes, custom matches map selection does not work, and instead leads you to Cold Tower without any offerings or alterations. A lot of the Oni's cosmetics are glitched in the end lobby screen. This bug has been in the game for over years. These are some of the glitches and bugs that are in the game. However, during its history, there have been some crazy other bugs that it's possible I will cover in a future video. So if you enjoyed this one, I recommend you supporting it by leaving a like or a comment. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.